So today we're gonna do, I'm gonna prepare a brisket. This is uh, about a seven pounder, seven pounder brisket. Um, I have previously trimmed it, but I'm gonna try to maybe trim it a little bit more. Oops. A little bit of fat. Trim that piece here. Now this looks good. Let's see maybe a little bit of fat here. Yeah, other than that, looks pretty good. It was going to have your fat side up. There's a part that's going to go up in the, uh, the smoker so the fat can render and keep the meat moist. Now, what I do um, first. Right. I would like to add some mustard to it. It'll break down a little bit of the tissue and help the rub stick to it. Just rub it in there. Now this is one of Texas style, RGB style barbecue brisket that I'm gonna make. Alright, let's get the other side. We're ready to add a rub. Now you can make your own rub and you can look at different recipes of rubs online, um, uh, barbecue websites or whatever, but you can also buy one on the um, on a barbecue store, on your grocery store, you know, it's just easier if it's your first time doing a brisket. Um, you can make your own, like I said, you can put um, some paprika, um, you can uh, add uh, other stuff to it, brown sugar, um, some uh, dried oregano, or uh, whatever, uh, you can create your own, whatever you like, uh, but uh, right now I'm going to use um, some this uh, competition rub that I got from a friend, he has been uh, gone to several barbecue competitions, so I'm using his right now, and uh, I'm going to rub this baby. So on this one you want to get it nice. Nice little coating of rub in there. And of course, I'm going to leave this overnight. Make sure I get a nice little press on the uh, rub here so that flavor can penetrate and stay there overnight on the rub. Um, notice it comes out better when you do that. You can do it uh, maybe an hour or two hours before you put it on the actual smoker, but I recommend you to do this overnight and wake up and this baby's ready to go. Just put it on the smoker. Now let's turn it to the fatty side. Now on the fatty side, uh, you don't want to go crazy on the rub because you know this is the fat part. This is the one that's gonna render and the juices are gonna flow out. You know, you may just want to you know, add a little bit of a coating to it. Because uh, at the end, once the fat renders, you're still gonna get that flavor in there, penetrated from the uh, the smoke. 
and your uh, rub. And uh, I like the fatty part, it's kind of like moist. I've got the flavor in it. So I'm going to add some rub into this. Make sure I get it in there. Alright, we're all set. So we're gonna let this baby um, overnight. Uh, we're gonna seal it, put it in the uh, in the fridge, let the uh, let the rub stick to it, nice. And we're gonna come back tomorrow, put it in the smoker.